Hello everyone, welcome to the daily devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oklahoma City. The Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by Dad in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adibwe. And today, the sixth day of June, our topic today is Baby King. Baby King. But before we continue, we'll say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you, God, for your presence in our midst. We ask, oh God, that you open our eyes to behold one just things out of your love for Christ's sake. In Jesus' name, amen. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 16. It says, Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. And our text is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 16 to 18. And it reads, Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. Blessed art thou, O land, when thy king is the son of nobles, and thy princes eat in due season, for strength and not for drunkenness. Verse 18, the last verse. By much slothfulness the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands the house droppeth through. So uh, that is as is talking to us about a baby king. Imagine a, a, a kingdom that has a baby as their king, like a king that does not think of any other thing than merriment, food, eating, enjoyment, instead of thinking of how does um, to help the, the kingdom succeed and all that so that is letting us know that as fathers as um parents we are the king of our homes you must be a leader somewhere else as if as a parent as a father you are a leader in your home and you can imagine a father waking up in the morning and just all he thinks about is oh what what am i going to eat like food 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 merriment enjoyment pleasure and all that it's an error it's going to affect the family so our daddy gave us some commentaries like in three days three days ago in the previous study the father was rightly described as a priest of the home the father is a priest the bible says in the book of revelation that ye are kings and priests a father is a king and a priest there are there's a time a father should show his priestly um authority and there's a time a father should show his kingly authority at each point in time he should be either a priest or a king he shouldn't be a baby he shouldn't be um thinking of pleasure pleasure all the time yeah there's time for pleasure but no there's time for um thinking straight and planning for the family so the king uh, the the father is the priest of the home he's however also the king of the home what the father does we have an effect on every member of the family as a father you cannot act like a child from our memory verse we see that it is the family that would suffer for childlessness um childishness of their king so if a father behaves like a child definitely the whole family will behave like children like nobody thinks straight nobody is um analytic analytical about any issue they just behave the way they want to behave because like the Bible say, anointing flows from the top. If, the anointing, if there's no anointing on the top, then the, the bottom is, not, is going to be dry. So a king and a priest it should, should not be a child, should not be one who thinks of pleasure all the time. So children learn by example. One example is when you drink or send your child to buy cigarettes, <laughs> you are already introducing him to that lifestyle. What kind of lifestyle are you, so are you introducing your children to? like on the first of june we talked about the seed we sow what kind of seed are you sowing in the life of your children children learn by example they learn by what you do they, they learn so fast by the way their parents behave as a father how do you behave in the presence of your children or outside the presence? you think they might not be watching but they, they are watching they are so smart especially kids of this day of this um, current century they are so smart like they, they see what is happening they see what you're doing and they are learning they are learning they are learning per day so the second example i dedicate to us is when your children see you having an affair with a strange woman you are sowing a terrible seed in their hearts you feel like okay that's how life should be daddy has um, another wife or a concubine so probably i can have a girlfriend at a very that's an error at a very young age it is an error it is an error how do you live a life as a king of your family how do you address issues when issues come up how do you address it? are you a disciplinarian disciplinarian yes it's important for a father yes to discipline their children because 
If you don't discipline them, the world will discipline them for you. If you don't correct your child, the next day they might be arrested for something that you did not correct them for. So it is very, very expedient that fathers should live a life of godliness, a life that will glorify God because their children will definitely take that, that step from them. Now the next example is the way you talk to their mother is probably how your sons will talk to their wives too. I want that to sink into you. How do you talk to your wife? How do you speak to her? Do you speak to her in love? Do you shout at her? How do you talk to her? Do you talk to her like your slave? Your children, your sons will look at it and say, oh, that's how life is. We should be talking to women like that. And tomorrow they might be arrested for that. They might get into trouble for that. So how do you talk to your children? And that is letting us to check, letting us know that we have to check our lives as parents, as daddies in the house. Check your life. Check the seed you sow. The low esteem of, of their mom due to how you treat her will probably become the self esteem of their daughters. How, the, how you treat your wife can make your wife to have a low self esteem. She look at herself as not worth it. Like I'm, supposed, I'm a slave. In fact, that's the kind of mindset she has, and it's going to rub off on her daughters. So it is an error for you to treat your, your wife in the wrong way. So correct. Our dad is telling us that we have to correct every error. We have to live our lives as kings. There's a certain way a king should live, and there's a certain way a priest lives. If you don't see a king going about walking around and living his life carelessly as though he doesn't have a plan for the day, it is an error. When a daddy wakes up in the morning, it is his duty as the priest of that family to call for money devotion and teach the children, teach the family the word of God. And as a king, he should provide, he should stand his ground and take authority over his family. And there's a place he talks about and making declaration. There are some issues in the family that a father can declare and, and say, in the name of Jesus, I command this issue to stop. I need to stop because he has been given that authority as a priest. He might not be ordained in the church. He might not be ordained a king or coronated as a king. But no, he has that authority given to him from the beginning of the times as a king and as, as a priest. And if he, if he knows his authority, he can stand his ground and say, this thing, I command you to stop in my family in the name of Jesus. I command this door to close, this door of poverty, this door of lack, this door of sickness. I command you to stop and it will hear the word of the, of the king in the house. So reasons to watch your spiritual life as a king and a priest. Number one reason is there are some demonic issues that the father need only issue to command for them to disappear. But if he's a spiritual baby, such issues will linger. Imagine a daddy that does not know his right in Christ Jesus, that is not spiritual, that is living his life from one pleasure to another pleasure. Things will be going wrong in his family. Like we said, anointing flows from the top. If he doesn't have that grace, if he doesn't have that anointing, if he lives his life, life like a baby, things will be going wrong to the family. You see all manner of sicknesses, all manner of challenges in the family. So a, daddy, a father should stand his ground as a, as a king who he is and not just like a child. Solomon worship foreign gods. You know the you know the story of um, Solomon in the book of First Kings chapter eleven. He was worshiping foreign gods. He had like up to seven hundred wives. He had concubines, and as a matter of fact, those women led him astray from the from the God of his father, who is the Almighty God. They led him astray towards foreign gods. And what happened? Because of his father. Um, David, the Bible says that how bet uh, the Bible says that how bet I will not take the whole world kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life for David, my servant's sake. Because of his father, God showed him mercy. Yeah, God did not visit him with all the iniquities he did. If he visited his own sons, so because of David, Solomon was exonerated from his issues from all what he did. So Jonathan, on the other hand, was a good boy, but he partook in the punishment of his father and died a shameful death. I pity any child who has a baby as a father. So our dad is letting us know that, that is, we should rise up, we should stand our ground as fathers that we are, exercise our authority in the name of Jesus. And he gave us a reflection board. He said, are you a mature father or a baby one? Think about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in today. We hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day.